we have back with us our Purple Martin hobbyist, I guess, slash expert, Mr. Brady Terrell of Shawnee. But this time, we're actually at Brady's parents' house in Shawnee. Now, Brady, thanks for joining us again. But last week, we talked about a couple of styles of Purple Martin houses. Why don't you show us one here? I guess that's your favorite, isn't it? All right, yes, it is. And why don't you tell us about the style and everything while you're bringing that down and what kind of mechanism this is. Okay, this works on a rope and lanyard system. It's an all aluminum house and it's very accessible and very easy to operate. And it's in my opinion, one of the best on the market. All right. Now this, that was a safety device, is that what you told me? Yeah, that's to keep from coming out and smacking your head when you get it. Okay. Rope breaks. So again, the style is? It's an aluminum house. Okay. It's a square house and each individual compartment is accessible, which is a, a very good feature about it. You can work with all the nest instead of just having to take it apart right. like a puzzle. And it has a subfloor in it, which keeps the nest elevated off the floor in order to keep the nestlings and the nest material from getting mm -hmm. so wet and everything. It makes it pretty easy to change. Okay. Well, while we've been out here, Brady, shooting this, you already have purple martins here. How early did you get them this year? April 7th, they came in this year in that cold ice storm. They flew into a north wind at about 20, 20 degrees or so, and we were really okay. surprised to have them. And we're seeing them fly around, and, and you're spotting the male and female. How do you know the difference between them? Well, in adult, after second year martins, which are after their first year plumage, the adult male is a very dark iridescent purple, and the female looks about the same, only she has a light beige to tan colored breast, okay. which is through here. All right. Well, now, I'm not seeing any nesting from them. What are they doing this time of year, though? Well, the adults are coming back to their colony sites and trying to establish territories, at least the males are, and trying to attract females. They're trying to get the best sites out of all these compartments here. They pick out the ones they like, and that's what they're doing right now. And then in a few weeks, you tell me they'll start building the nest, and there yeah. was, a, 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 I guess, an incidence with the neighbor's trees and stuff. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, these leaves start uh, coming out of these trees, which is a little bit early now. They'll pick the tops of the leaves out off, and they'll start lining their compartments with the uh, fresh green leaves. That kind of helps them mark the territories, and they also will cover their eggs and everything with those okay. green leaves. So there's still a few weeks before the leaves come out, so yeah. keeping busy. now. Of course, some gardeners are probably wondering why on earth we're talking about purple martins in a landscape, but we know they help feed on insects at our studio gardens, right. but you've also had some great experience that way too. Yeah, we have no problems having barbecues or anything like that with the house flies and stuff in the summer when they have nests, they're almost non-existent. Uh, they eat a few mosquitoes and everything, but the, it's the fly problems that you know you have right. problems with a lot of times that are just, they mm -hmm. annihilate them. Okay, now you are getting some nests. Let's yeah. talk about some of the nests that are showing up in one of them over here, Brady. Okay. What kind of nest are you getting in here? Well, what I'm getting is we're having trouble with sparrows, the English house sparrows, mm -hmm. and they're a, a nest site competitor, which is a non-native non spe non species, sorry. And uh, they will fill up individual compartments. This is just from today, right. how much grass one sparrow can carry. They will put grass in every compartment. Right. And it's, it's very obvious the distinction between the nest of these and the purple martin, which you've helped us out with, I think, even last week. But I think some people don't realize the importance of keeping these sparrows cleaned out and trapped. And why, first of all, do we need to do that? Well, for one thing, they set up territories and they're very aggressive to the, to the native species, in which they're not used to. And they also, they will fill up every compartment here with a big wad of grass, which is uh, unacceptable to the martin. And they'll also will puncture the eggs and kill right. the nestlings and everything else. Well, I've heard their beak is so sharp and curved that they can kill the purple martins as well as the bluebirds and everything and build nests right on top of them. Have you seen that happen? Yeah, I've seen it happen. Okay, so tell us how you can trap them then. Well, this, this unit or these houses here that have this kind of door on their thing have an adaptive door, which is called a sparrow door. Mm -hmm. And this is a trap unit, which is a hole that's too small for a martin to get into. What they do is they go in and they trip a trip a lever, right. and it closes them inside, and you can remove them with a cup and a bag. Okay. And that way you can destroy them. And the right. benefit of this is it gets the individual sparrows that are causing you the most problems in your housing. Okay. Now this is a, another kind of trap right here that you have too, right? Yes, this is an ST1 cage trap, and it works well whenever uh, the young sparrows are coming out and they're real vulnerable. They like to feed on the bread, and during the off season it's also uh -huh. very well. When the nesting season comes, you can put uh, grass and stuff in here to attract the sparrows, mm -hmm. in which they'll go into the center here, and you can use those as decoys and reset your traps. Okay. All right. Now, back back on this one, you, you tell me that starlings, of course, is the other pest 
bird, right. I guess, but you don't have many problems on this particular type of house. Why would that be? Well, there's a wives' tale saying that shiny aluminum interiors uh, keep starlings out. That's not necessarily true. The, what is true is that the size of the compartment will keep the starling out. These are a six by six by six, and to a starling, that's just really too small. And so he feels cramped in there, so he will normally avoid nesting in this type of house. They will land okay. on them, but they normally won't nest in them. Now I've noticed you've modified a little bit to help them have a perching area, which right. you talked to us about the importance. And even some of them come with cranks, which makes it easier to get the mm -hmm. houses up and down. Now obviously the reason for that is because you want to check them often to keep them cleaned out. Yeah, we do. I do uh, weekly nest checks. That's okay. what I can tell if there's a problem. I can address the problem before anything gets too bad. Right. And it just helps me keep in touch yeah, with what's going on. Well now, Brady, how long, you got them early March, right? Mm -hmm. How long can we expect to have purple martins if we're trying to get them in for the first time? Okay, well, a lot of times the purple martins will establish a new site or to consider the sub-adults, and they're the ones that hatched out last year. Okay. And they will establish a new site, and they usually come anywhere from four to six weeks after the scouts arrive. Okay. And But anywhere up until the end of June, a All purple right. martin can nest in anywhere in North America. So, so after June, if we don't have them, chances are we're not going to get them again, and that's the time right. to close up the holes so yeah. the sparrows and starlings and right. critters like that aren't bothered. Well, Brady, thank you very much. You've given us some really great ideas, and we're going to keep you posted, and hopefully we're going to have Purple Martins to show you right. back in Stillwater sometime. Thanks again, Brady. Anytime.